Hi guys, welcome to the FI Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 2000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thanks for supporting me guys, now we start the video. Jerwan to Davis vs Ryan Garcia, it's not a big fight. Davis promoter. The two fighters have different promoters. One of the fights that fans are asking for the most of Jervon to Davis vs Ryan Garcia. But according to Steven Espinoza, it is a fight that is going to be very difficult to achieve. In past years, there were fights that were very difficult to negotiate. The clearest example was the fight between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. It was a contest that took years to close. The two fighters had different promoters and that made the negotiations very long. A similar case is that of Davies and Garcia. Davies has Steven Espinoza's promoter, and his fights are on showtime. Garcia has a contract with Golden Boy Promotions, and his fights are on dozen. When negotiating fight contracts, one of the areas where boxers get into the most trouble is the distribution of the pay-per-view protest, and that seems to be where Davies and Garcia got stuck. In my opinion, it doesn't make sense to do a joint pay-per-view, Steven Espinosa said in an interview. I think people don't appreciate how difficult and painful and time-consuming it is when you have a mutual agreement with every detail. Espinosa assured that it is very difficult to negotiate with TV stations. I think we've done in the boxing for two fights. We did it for Lewis Tyson and Mayweather Pacquiao. With all due respect to Ryan and Tank, this fight is not that big, Espinosa said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please, subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 2000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Ryan Garcia vs. Gervonta Davis fight has some significant obstacles, says Showtime chief. Tank and Ryan both wanted the fight very badly. Ryan Garcia badly wants to face Gervonta Davis in his next appearance, and he wants to make it happen at 140 pounds. Gervonta Davis has also seemed interested in the fight. However, Davis' mentor Floyd Mayweather has suggested that the bout should take place at lightweight, 135 pounds. Meanwhile, Showtime Steven Espinosa has talked about the possibility of seeing the fight happen. He acknowledged the obstacles present at the moment, but is optimistic about staging King Rai against Tank Davis. In a chat with Boxing King Media, he said, Ongoing discussions, still very early in that protest. There are some significant obstacles there, but again, Tank and Ryan both won the fight very badly. Ryan Garcia is 2-0 in the super lightweight category, signs returning against Emmanuel Taguri. After stopping Javier Fortuna in his last fight, Garcia called out Davis. However, the sum happened when Ryan Garcia stopped Luke Campbell for the WBC interim lightweight title in 2021, but the buzz died down. Garcia has also tested the potential exhibition against Manny Pacquiao and an MMA showdown in the past, neither of which ever came to fruition. Now that he and Davis are once again on a collision course, it looks like neither side is eager to step back. Gervonta Davis is a three-division world champion and has held a title in the 130 pounds division. He currently holds the WBA regular lightweight title and may not quite the 135 pounds category anytime soon. With that said, Garcia may have to come down to 135 pounds to meet Gervonta on his turf. Ryan Garcia may have to look at other fighters if Gervonta Davis does not fight him at 130 pounds. If Garcia does not drop down to lightweight and Davis denies coming up to 140 pounds, Boobs men will have to look at other names. Garcia has also eyed Tafimo Lopez as one of his potential opponents. Former Andes Brute Lightweight champion Tafimo Lopez has moved up to 140 pounds. 
after losing his unbeaten attack to George Camus Jr. in November last year, Isaac Cruz pushing toward Gervonta Davis rematch. Isaac Cruz announced his intention to land a rematch with Gervonta Davis ahead of his clash with Eduardo Ramirez on September 4th. The 24-year-old round Davis despite being of the wrong side of a good animal's decision in December last year. Since then, Cruz stopped Yorkis Gamboa in five rounds to get back on track. But rather than looking for a world title shot, Cruz is eyeing another opportunity against Davis on pay-per-view. Discussing his intention a month out from the Ramirez fight, the pit bull is determined to get another victory. Turn to Davis very much. I am thrilled about the fight because the fans will be the true winners. I can't wait to get in the ring and compete, said Cruz. We're not going to take anything away from anybody because we know what he is capable of. Eduardo Ramirez is a very tough and complicated rival for me. I'm planning to welcome Eduardo Ramirez to Division 1 in the hardest waist. I will be ready for whatever he brings into the ring. The fight against Gervonta Davis motivated me and gave me the goal of wanting to face him again, Cruz said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.